gonna go through my uh, competition diet with you and show you the things that I buy. Um, I thought it was only uh, a good idea to start with the famous slash infamous scale that I get on to track my progress, and you can check that out on my body space profile. Anyway, um, let's go inside and I'll show you what my diet looks like. I get asked all the time if any of these treats are okay, and at this point, absolutely not. So just stay focused and keep walking. Don't even look over here. First place I start is at the fish counter. I always eat tilapia. I think it's also important to bring your list with you. Bring your diet with you. Next is chicken, and I do use my scale and weigh everything, so spinach is good. I think I'm gonna actually get some spinach. I come over and I get the pineapple and it's already cut up. I'm also gonna get some fresh lemons. Next are eggs. Yeah, this is good. I'm gonna get my oatmeal. Okay, we also have to get rice cakes. These are coming with us. I think that's it for today. We're gonna go and check out, and I'll meet you at the gym. Bye. Okay, now I'm in my rehearsal. Um, like I said earlier, I'm 13 weeks out, and as I learned in my last show, it's really important to practice. I'm doing two different organizations. The first one's Fame, and it's really exciting because I get to do a routine, and I have six mandatory poses, and we actually have a pose down, so starting tomorrow I'm going to start working on my routine, and um, that's a whole new world for me. Um, today what I'm going to focus on is that tea walk because two weeks after fame I'm going to do the figure America. And uh, I did the figure universe, I got second place, and I felt like my physique was really good. Um, I feel like it's going to be better, I'm preparing longer this time, and I feel like I kind of got messed up on that tea walk. So. Um, this is the beginning of me practicing that, so I'd like to track my progress with the tea walk I know it sounds really simple, but um, I was kind of frozen up there, and I felt really uncomfortable. So you don't want to go all these weeks of dieting, and you look amazing, and then you're like, what do I do on stage? And what also happened was I was behind the stage, and I had something practiced and ready, and they said, no, don't do that. So that happened right before. So you got to be prepared for every single situation that can happen. Um, so let's go ahead, I brought my high heel shoes and uh, we'll see how I do. I'm going to come up this way and I'm going to go stage right, stage left, and then I'm going to walk off. So if you're wanting to do this show, you better practice this team walk or you're going to be shaking in your high heels. They like to lay it on a little thick too, so I'm going to like kind of go over because I'm nervous and you want to just feel it. You know, explore, see what works. And I kind of feel a little cheesy because I'm the kind of athlete that I work hard on my physique, I show up, I want to line us up to each other, I want to get under good light, and I want to say, okay, let's see whose symmetry, whose skin tone, whose suit. I want to see your conditioning. That's the way I'm used to doing it, and that's what I really like. And I have to also realize this is for entertainment value also, and I need to know that I need to come alive on that stage. What do you think? I think it's nice to add a little bit of this bubbly, I'm doing a show, pageanty thing with maybe a front, you know, like NBC and then a back like this. And then I can kind of intertwine both. And so I feel like I'm incorporating both. One that makes me feel really comfortable and the other that I know is a good value for the audience and shows a lot of energy. So that's kind of a cool discovery I just found out today. So. What you need to do is practice it yourself if you're planning on doing a show, even if it's um, just where you do you know, your mandatory, like your quarter turns, just practice walking out on the stage. Think about what you're going to do before you come out. Don't talk to the girls right when you're back out there because they don't have your best interests at heart. You have to realize and, and focus and concentrate on why you're here in this moment. And the show is fine. And that's it. So let's go train and get to the nasty, sweaty stuff. I wanted to do this first, so my hair would look like kind of.